<gasps> Scorpio, this is all about you. I'm so psyched because this is my sort of getting back to my original release time for you guys. It was always Monday and then I changed stuff up and I'm going to say I'm back. Top of the morning to you, Scorpio. Top of the morning to you. And I'm filming this Sunday night so that I'm sure that I can have this ready for you on Monday morning. I'm going to release you in Capricorn and then Libra tomorrow throughout the day. So this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Form Without Boundaries. You know the drill. There's always an extended. That link is below. That's actually a full tarot card spread. I mean, sometimes I've used the whole deck in that spread, just basically clarifying things. And then we also have the romantic tarot, which goes seven days out. I'm sorry, the romance reading for you guys specifically, which goes seven days out. Do check out the romantic tarot, though, because that reading is up. So this reading is for energies. It's an energetic reading for Scorpio energy. So sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Wow, lots coming out, <laughs> lots sneaking out. And you know what's crowning your reading, Scorpio? Having trouble setting boundaries. Ooh, okay, I put the card down. First of all, this is the card that flipped over. This is the energy that's crowning your reading. So it will affect and influence your entire reading this week. And this is having trouble setting boundaries. Now, this could mean that your walls are up too high. You built a freaking great wall of China to keep out an ant farm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like either that or you're not having any boundaries. You're not, you're not expressing what it is that you really want, what it is you really feel, or what it is that, that's good for you. You're not, you're not staking your claim. You're not, you're not digging in your heels and asserting yourself. That could be the energy too. Whatever it is, it's wonky boundaries are causing issues, maybe causing emotional stress this week, but the moon card flipped out as well. And I do think this is maybe something then that you are keeping hidden, something that you are, you're, in other words, you're not telling the truth about what you really feel for some reason. And now Scorpios usually have a real easy time telling the truth about what they feel. But there's something going on here where you are not telling the truth about what you feel. For some reason, you're holding it back. You're repressing it. You're suppressing it. Um, I don't know if you feel empowered. There is a sense of um, heavy burden on, on your shoulders and a sort of a, a outcry, a cry for help. Um, ooh, Scorpio, geez. Be playful. What? Ah. So this is, I think, part of the facade because it's coming out with wolf energy, which is the moon card right there, which is la luna, howl at the moon, the idea of... Of, of that Piscean energy, of that lunar, that moon, that loon, lunatic, going crazy, being emotional, pretending that you're okay with everything, pretending that everything is okay and on the surface and on the up and up. This is an energy of five plus one, 51, so that could be six. Six to me is always love and romance because it's the um, divine lovers, the, the lovers card in the major arcana of the original tarot. So it could very well be a hidden love, a hidden love affair. This is six plus seven, so 13, four energy. A sense of playing or being flippant or pretending like everything is okay and stable when it's not. Um, that could be as well. Now is a lucky time. There could be unexpected pregnancy. There could be a lot of abundance coming into your life and maybe feeling really good and feeling really happy on the surface. But underneath the surface, there's something that you're hiding. There's something that you're holding back. It could very well be holding back this idea, holding back this idea. Maybe you find out you're pregnant or you're finding out you're pregnant, holding it back playing around, having that energy of just being lighthearted. Something about this abundance that actually stresses you out, but you're trying to go with the flow and feel good about it. Give with gratitude and grace. This is abundance. This is giving of yourself to the point where you're giving your whole life away, your very flesh and blood, um, everything that anybody else needs. So this is maybe you being too generous this week because this is your card this is that central energy of your reading six plus one is uh seven seven is the energy of creation so there's something that you're creating here once again this could be you creating life 
abundance uh, life, something that is prospering, something that is multiplying, something that is on the surface going your way, but underneath kind of worrying you in some ways. Um, and then think on your feet. This is the energy of nope. Not really having a very flexible mind this week, not being able to think on your, not being able to think on your feet, not being able to improvise. And I'll tell you why that is, Scorpio. It's because you've got something on your mind that you're suppressing. And when you spend that energy and that time on suppressing what it is that you feel, you're not able to be as flexible and dexterous as you could mentally because your mind already has a job, which is keep something hidden. Mm, okay. Um, shoot, <clears throat> embrace the in-between. This is trying to look good, trying to look balanced, trying to dress up a situation that is in balance in this pink flare. So you're a lot of, a lot of flare, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of outward abundance. This is Libra energy, feeling balanced, being able to be economic with your resources. Okay. See? All of these cards kind of came out upside down. So I'm just thinking, sing your own song. I'm going to shuffle these cards. Just because one of these cards came out upside down, Scorpio. And that's why I don't like this energy. Because they be at home. Something that's taking you away from home. I'm going to tell you. I'm just going to put it upside down like it was. So this is like inbound. There's, there's an instability at home. I'm going to read them the way they came out, okay? There's an instability at home. There's something that's throwing you off at home. It could be close to your heart chakra, close to your heart space. This is the energy of 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 5 is... Uh, 4 plus 1 is... Uh, 1 plus 4 is 5. The energy of change. Change is happening in your home. You know, maybe to dress something up, doll something up, um, to... Um, um, almost, I don't know, redecorate or, or, or something that has to do with you making it seem like I think that you have more abundance than you really do. Okay. A rebirth is assured. Okay. This is the energy of change. The, the cards flip back over. Energy of change. So, um, something that is hidden coming out of the dark and being revealed to you. Uh, and you see clearly now this is seeing in the dark. This is Aquarian energy. This is that foresight and expansion and being honest with yourself, seeing in the night, seeing through the dark to some truth or something that you've spotted that maybe other people can't see. Uh, sing your own song is here as sort of this inspiration, sort of whistle while you work, try to take the stress away or singing a song, communicating Watch the Romantic Tarot. I'll attach it right above, Scorpio. You got a big, big, on the extended video, you got a big message about music, about connecting to somebody through song, about connecting through, through the expression of song. In other words, when you cannot put normal words to emotion, you're using words to help you express how you feel. That could also be in reverse and that a song is coming through to you to help crack open this pretense that you're about this week to basically break through you and start that emotional flow going to help you be more gentle with yourself and more loving to yourself. It could also be a way that somebody is expressing how much they love you by singing to you through music. Um, this is a sense of them singing your praises, them loving you, this a sense of really feeling praised by somebody. That is not a false energy. This is a Virgo energy. Eight plus, eight plus one is nine. Energy of nine is something is coming to completion. Something is coming to the surface, essentially. So it could very well be this sense of somebody's love for you, stabilizing you this week. But it's also like, it, it just could have to do with a sense of somebody that you love asking you to do too much. Like, and you're not inclined to say no, but you're suppressing it. You're holding that energy. You're holding it back. You don't want to tell them it's too much. You don't want to tell them. You, you want to keep saying yes, 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 yes. When really you should be saying no, 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 no. <sighs> yes, I just quoted Destiny Shaw. So... Hold on, I'm going to turn the cards around, uh, turn the camera around so that I can review this energy with you. Hold on. So, what is this that's hidden? What is this? It's almost like hidden boundaries. Or this, this sense of 
hiding behind your boundaries, hiding behind some walls that you put up that you're trying to make look like you have a lot when you don't. Scorpio, a pretense that you're putting on because you want somebody else to feel calm and secure. You want somebody else to feel, to be impressed or to think that you have this all under control. This is definitely somebody that you care about and that whose opinion, it means a lot to you. And this is a sense of, um, even, even in some degrees, uh, social recognition. Now, what does this mean? Somehow the truth is going to come out. And I feel like the truth is going to come out in little forms. It's like it's going to be seeping out in different messages or different songs that you're playing. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm happy, baby. I'm happy. But then you're like listening to like um, heavy metal and thrashing your head and like, or you're listening to sad music. And it's almost like, well, why is that your vibe if you're feeling so good? I love this song. I love this song. Okay, but what's the truth? There is this energy of not being able to find balance in your home, not being able to feel at home, at home, a little bit of discomfort or misstep when it comes to something that's happening at home this week. And I'm telling you right now, it has to do with pretending a shallow sense of abundance, showing or demonstrating that you have a great deal of abundance when maybe deep down inside you're worried about this. There is something that is hidden. There is something like overstepping boundaries, somebody taking too much or you giving too much, Scorpio. This will pass. This, this is an energy. A rebirth is assured. So this is, it's coming out of the dark. No matter how much you try to hide it this week, especially somebody that you love, it's going to come out at them. They're going to be able to tell. They're going to be able to see this. And whatever, however this discussion goes, <laughs> I honestly don't know. We're going to go over and uh, extend this reading on tarot over here. Oh my God, yeah. We're going to extend this reading over on the other side. So I'll do a full spread to expand on this. We already have the moon card out. And we'll also pull your romance reading, Scorpio. All right, I'll see you over there.